Hello everyone, Tac1421 here with a quick OU match that I had pretty recently and I it's kind of fresh in my mind so I wanted to get the commentary out before I forget what's going on. Basically, I lead off with a Rotom, he leads off with that Mian Chao thing, whatever it is, that little cat kind of thing. I don't even know what kind of Pokemon it is. But anyways, the entire purpose of this team is to kind of try to get hazards off. You can see I have a, a Stealth Rock Setter and Fortress and both my Rotom and my Fortress have uh, volt switch so I can volt switch back and forth. My Genesect also has it's a choice banded Genesect with U-turn so I can switch back and forth of everything and kind of pick and choose my matchups and then try to get the sweep in with whatever I want. So basically he goes into this avalanche kind of thing I don't even know what it's called this new Pokemon and I'm just gonna go ahead and volt switch out. I'm not too worried about it even though he does have that plus one attack and plus one defense on him. He's gonna go for the avalanche that does absolutely nothing, so I'm not too worried about this thing at all. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Toxic now, because I know I am faster, and that is great. I predicted that pretty nicely. He does go for the Substitute, and now he pretty much just dies from Poison, unless he switches out, because uh, he cannot hit me with anything. So he does switch out, and I thought that would be a nice time to get my Stealth Rocks up, which I do. Even though he has a uh, Spinner on his team, I thought it would be nice to get the Rocks up regardless. He does substitute. I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch out. That does not break the sub, unfortunately, but that is okay. I'm just going to go into my Genesect, and I get the download, but uh, this is a Choice Banded one, so um, the download, the special attack download doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to go for the U-turn, even though it's not that effective, and go into my Charizard now. Now, I don't know why he kept on going for Spikes, because Spikes doesn't affect my team at all, pretty much. Uh, Rotom has Levitate. Clefable doesn't affect him, and Charizard is part flying. I guess it's not part flying anymore, but it was. And I do have a spinner on my team, so I thought he would switch out there. So that's why I went for the Dragon Claw, and then I predicted him to switch out again. Um, and he finally does, so I go into Fortress here. He does U turn, which doesn't do anything to me, which is kind of funny. And I'm just going to get a Toxic up because no one, nothing wants to take a Toxic except for what 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 is already Toxic and his uh, Poison type Pokemon on his team. So. Anyways, he is poisoned now. I'm going to go into my Rotom Wash because I predict the Fire Punch very nicely. And he does Fire Punch, so uh, that is okay with me. Now he's going to switch out here. I decided just to go for a Hydro Pump because that would hit everything on his team except for probably Tentacruel, which he did not go into, which I was kind of surprised. And I'm just going to go for another Hydro Pump here, and I hit both, which is... Fantastic. It's kind of rare to hit both Hydro Pumps, but when it does happen, you just have to cheer for yourself and clap a little bit, which I was doing. And he does finally go into Tentacruel here, but it is a little too late. I'm just going to go ahead and Volt Switch on out of here, because that's the best play to do. That does about half, and I'm going to go straight into Michael Fable and try to get this sweep, because looking at his team, nothing can hit Clefable, and I am ready to get powered up. I'm just going to go straight for my electric type move, my charge beam here. And I do get the attack rage, which is fantastic. Now I probably should have set up a little bit more just because this thing cannot hit me at all. You can see Giga Drain's doing 16% damage and I can easily knock him out with a charge beam whenever I wanted to. Uh, I don't get the raise on the second one, but that is okay. I am just going to go for some stored powers and set up a little bit here. So you can see cosmic power raises my defense and special defense. The avalanche does absolutely nothing to, to my team at all. Uh, the only thing that would really affect would probably be my Haxorus and Charizard, but I never really went into those things when this thing was out here. I'm just gonna keep on cosmic powering. He's gonna substitute, which was the oddest play I've ever seen because he's just gonna die from poison. Um, not really sure what his motivations were there. I guess he just wanted to kill himself, but I'm going to continue to Cosmic Power, and I'm going to soft boil because I don't really know what this uh, Murkrow, or Murkrow can do to me. And he does have the poison on him, so I'm just going to go for that, that Cosmic Power again and raise my defense and special defense up even more than it is. And one more uh, soft boil here, and now I'm ready to attack. So the soft boil back to pretty much full health. He does hit the Stone Edge, doesn't do too much damage at all. And now I am ready to attack and bring up all havoc. So there is stored power, does a lot of damage. It is hitting for a base damage of, uh, let me do the math here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, about seven, about 140 
pace power, so that's pretty crazy. He does U-turn out, and I'm just going to continue to store power. He can't really do anything at this point. So Clefable does end up getting the sweep. Uh, I want, let, let me know in the comments down below what you what you think about this Clefable set. And I will see everyone shortly for a, another video, another Pokemon video. I'll probably do a, uh, I might do a, a session on this team because I like it a lot. So that's that. Hope you enjoy. I'll see everyone next time. Peace.